If someone had told you that on a fixed day the market would change its direction and will start moving in the opposite direction, would you have Niagara Falls to open a position on that day? 80% of traders would not do it for one simple reason, because of fear that they will lose their bees and honey. The next 15% would not, because they know that it is impossible to predict a market reversal points with an accuracy of one day. Or if someone told you that for a thousand dollars would give you the key to success in the market, would you be willing to pay such an amount? Hi, this is Maria from Forex Other Way, and I will never ask anyone for bees, because all the knowledge I give on my channel is always free. If you think this knowledge is worth something, please share it with others. Of course for free, if you don't mind. Well, in this video I will tell you in the simplest, simplest possible way about squaring of price and time. And I will show you some good examples on the real market. So watch this video to the end, because at the end you will be surprised how accurate time and price squaring could be, and I'm sure it definitely will help you in your trading abilities. So let's start the rock and roll, guys. Have you ever been to Switzerland? Lovely country, very rich. If you're a skier, I recommend you to go there. The Wengen area is beautiful. I've been there a couple of times. It's wonderful. It's really nice in the summertime as well. Of course, when this bloody coronavirus will end up, because at the moment we are all locked up and we don't, we cannot get out, at least in my country, in Poland where I live. So, in front of me, I got a chart of Euro USD daily chart, and this big spike you can see here, it happened on 2015th, in January exactly. What the market did, the market made this this funny hammer here, reversed hammer, or whatever is this, pin bar, and couldn't get over, and on 15th it just collapsed. It collapsed big time because the government, the, the, the chief of the National Swiss Bank said they will never go, they were never going to protect Swiss franc against US dollar. And the story end up as you see over here. What is nice in here? The, in, in this example, I just want to show you about squaring of price and time and what does exactly mean, in my opinion. Because, you know, most people understand drawing squares on the charts, trying to find place this and that. Well, squaring of price and time by my opinion, in my opinion, it is a moment when the price meets the time. They are in harmony, or they are in balance, or opposite, they are in imbalance, whatever. So, the right price on the right time, it doesn't need to be squared. So it's got nothing to do with the square, whatever it is. Oh, I've drawn the square and I hit it. But it's just, you know, it's, uh, it's a random square, which I've drawn here. Obviously, it could work because it was a minimum here. But what I wanted to show you today, I want to show you how to use the price to predict the time when the market will reverse in the future. So let's presume we are on 20 and whatever, uh, January 2015, and we got a, such a chart in front of us. Let me show you what's going on. It will be a quick one today, guys, so I'm not going to, to bore you anymore. So, we got a candle here with a maximum and another candle here with a minimum. At the moment, let's stay here. Let's stay only with the candle which achieves a maximum point within a long time. Look, it's a daily chart. It's ages. It's two years and something and the market has never been at that level. So probably it's an important 
point on the market. So I will show you right now. Look, so the price, the high price, what is uh, important? The high price is 102,866 over here. 102,866 is a high price. Now, important thing is, um, WD Gun said uh, it could be, the decimal point could be moved somehow. Uh, left and right, whatever. If we got a situation that we've got over here, 1.02866. If we move a decimal point to the right two places, we get 102. Very simple, isn't it? So now I'm going to show you what's happening right now. So we got 102 on a daily chart. If we get from here 102 candles, Look what happens. Where is it? 102. Here we go. 102. We are right on the top here. There was 102 candles from the maximum. So this is 102. Next one. Let's move it. Another 102 candles or sessions because this is a daily chart. Let's go to 204. Where is it? It's over here. It's another bottom. So there we had a top at 102 and 204. We've got a bottom of the market. It's interesting, isn't it? Next one. Let's add up another 102. Let's add up. Where should it go? It would be 306, as far as I remember. 3 times 102 is 306. Here we go. Again, we are on, over here. First candle of this fall. And after that candle, the market has fallen. Another, whatever it is, 300 something pips. Over here, the market has fallen the same amount, probably something like 278 pips. Okay, and here from 204, the market has risen 700 pips. That's the first thing. Next one. So we've got 102 over here. You see once again. So the high is 102,866. We move the decimal point to the right, two places, we get 102, roughly. So that's how it's looking. Like. Now I will show you the weekly chart. We got the same story. Where are we? We are over here. That's the candle. Weekly candle looks like that. Look, here's 4 of January 2015, whatever. And from this candle, when we count again 102 candles, again, we reach the top here. Very weird, isn't it? So that's when price and time square. So price is equal to time. Whatever time measure you get, you can do it weeks, months, days, hours, candles, or number of sessions, as it is on the MT4 platform. Here we got candles only from Monday to Friday, so it's not the same like days. But I assure you, when you use days, it will be the same story. i show you another example when the price and time square. We got such a situation before, on the date of 7th of August 2011, we had a lovely minimum here. Later on, over here, we had a local maximum, which was on 22nd of July 2012. 22nd of July. So it took about uh, roughly one year, a little bit less than one year. It's about 11 months. So, now the range between the minimum 
and the maximum was but just let me tell you one more thing so we had this date i just i just realized that we got 7th of august 2011 and 22nd of july 2012 i got it already two of my funny pdfs wd gun master time factor which says over here these are dates when the market might change july 3rd to july 7th and 20th to 27th the month of july like january is a month when most div dividends are paid and investors blah 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 whatever so guns gives the dates when in july market usually changes for the reasons he explains over here with july 8 32 july 17 33 and so on so we got over here we got 20 to 27th july which happened here where the market changed as wd gun said and another one we had 7th of august we haven't got august over here but i've got another work of wd gun this uh, this one was retyped from the original one is more more lisbon in august august 5th in gun's letter wd gun forecast by time cycles august date 5th of august gun said is a date when the market usually changes it's got all those uh, all those dates december february may june august september november that's what he says august 5th and our change in the market happened here on august 7th 5th was probably was it uh, no it's weekly chart sorry it's weekly chart but it's roughly it's that date what i wanted to stress over here the range the range i will show you the range is roughly 2800 I, I just calculated 200, 2880 pips is the range over here. And you wouldn't be surprised if I told you that the range here was the same. It's also about 288, 2888 pips. So having that range, that range which is, I said it's once again, 2880 pips the range again if we move the decimal point to the left instead of 2880 we make 288 as a number of harmonics of this range look what happens we get it from here because it was from bottom to the top so we start from the top and we drag 288 weeks it is it is it is you guess it's here it's here right in this bottom of the market so after 200 from the range of 2880 after one tenth of the range we had a major change in the market with occurs it works trust me it works everywhere on every kind of the market let me show you one more also weird like this one by simple one is the last one well here we've got the range i put regular fibonacci retracements over here as you might see here on 61.8 it is a strong support support so now what i want to show you from this maximum here to support you guess how many weeks would it be look at this one one six two one six two which is also fibonacci retracement it's one it's like 68 weeks first we can find it here we got first one but 161 162 again we found it here 272 again fibonacci retracement guys that's how price squares 
time. It's just a rough idea. What do you think about it? Just watch my other videos, write me in the comments what do you think about it. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.